Hey guys, Arbiter G Vadim here, KG5 IWQ. Figured I'd do a little disclaimer and or uh, what happens when this happens to your SCBA tank or scuba tank happens to the same process. Um, so here we go, this is my Ultralight 2 pressure demand tank, MSA, uh, it's not an MSA brand, I think it's a Luxifer brand. Okay, so I sent it in for a hydro and it came back. Condemned, which means that it failed the hydro. This wasn't surprising to me at all. Um, the day I, I, I ordered a new tank online, a day before I sent this in for a hydro, um, I knew there was a 99.9% .9 chance of it not passing. And I figured, eh, what the heck, there's always that 0.1% chance, but oh, the odds were against me. So anyways, um... And this is what kind of showed me that, uh, that's the last Hydro, that's 95. Okay, the year right now is, um, November 2015. This is a 20 year old tank. Yeah, so I knew it was gonna fail, obviously. Um, and I knew it was gonna fail, and I did this for the video mainly. I wanted to show what it looks like when it fails and what they do to it. Uh, they're gonna label it completely condemned. Condemned. So I'm surprised they labeled that side as well. And they'll label this condemned. And this MSA tank actually has a spot right here. Um, if it is condemned, they drill a hole through that. So there's a, there's a hole drilled. Um, and that's just to make sure you can't use it again. I just put some hot glue in there because I threw some water in there earlier just to see how heavy it would be with complete water. About 30 pounds, I think it, it was about. Um, but when I got this, it was completely filled, fully filled to 2,500 PSI. So that's about right there, which is, I think it's a little bit above what it's normally rated for. It's normally rated for 2,200. Um, but oh well. It worked for when I had it, and I used it. I loved it. It was kind of cool. I bought an Ultralight too, just for the heck of it. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have, and for the price, you can't beat it. So that's basically renders the tank useless. Um, you can't restore it. You can't do anything. Don't even try to restore it. Don't just don't try to use it again. Um, and I've seen some online info about you know when they drill holes in it and stuff like that. That's illegal. No, it's not illegal at all. They're supposed to do that. That's actually DOT regulations. They, you know, if it's especially if it's a firefighter SCBA like this one, carbon um, or no fiberglass wrapped. It will be drilled, and they will make sure you cannot use it, because it is a very big safety concern. For instance, if this was to blow out of my back, um, my chest would probably disappear, and there'd be little red particles everywhere of me. Not good. Oh, but anyways, that's what happens to a tank if it fails a hydro. Um, and this one, I talked to the height testers, they said it would just expand it past its, its thing, which is kind of good, so... Whatever, normal. However, the valve on this is still perfectly good. And they advised me on that one. They said, hey, your tank's bad, but the valve's good, and this is a good valve you can use for future uh, uses. This will also fit on a Scott tank. So, that's, that's the gun right there. Um, valve, gun, great part. And if you wanted to, you could turn around and sell this for even more money. I'm not going to sell it, I don't, I, don't I, I use it. So this is the tank. Now, let's see if we can see inside here. This is a little wet in there because I filled it with water. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. I mean, it was an experience, and nothing wrong with learning experiments. I, I really wish it didn't condemn, though. I gotta, I gotta say that because this was a expensive tank. Um... I mean, yeah, the the person that I bought it from, he's refunding me the money for it, so I'm not too fed up with that or anything. He's a, this is a good, good buyer, um, or good seller, sorry. But uh, oh well, um, my next tank's gonna be an aluminum tank. These things, these carbon or fiberglass, they're good tanks, but they have a 15 year shelf life. Um, the steel or, alu or the aluminum tanks. Um, have a unlimited sh shelf life, and they gotta be hydroed every five years. This has to be hydroed every three years. So in the long run, if you're looking for a tank for scuba, well, you can't use this for scuba. Um, it's got, yeah, you don't wanna... Oh, that's another good thing. Don't use these tanks for scuba. 
Um, the reason is being, let's see, that's actually the fiberglass in there. Uh, that will corrode. And within a month of using it, you'll notice problems. You'll go to get it hydroed, and it will not pass guaranteed because of that reason. So don't do it. Not a good scuba tank. A good firefighting tank. Not a scuba tank. This one weighs about 9.6 pounds empty. It's not that bad. Um, what else? I guess the aluminum tank weighs about 20 pounds, so noticeable difference in weight, but oh well. I'm not, like I said, I'm not too mad about the refund and new tank and everything. Um, what else? So, what do you do with a blown or bad tank? Well, there's um, not much you can do with it. It's pretty much scrap metal at this point. People, I mean, there's a lot of weird things you can do with it. There's somebody that drilled out a big hole and put a bucket lid and made it into a bird nest and it was hanging it, hanging it in his porch. Uh, other people have put a stand on it like this and made it into a lamp post or lamp stand for, a, you know, a, a book reading light or something, whatever. Um, and then people cut it in half and they make it in a door stopper, just put a little bit of rubber at the end. Personally, for me, I'm going to take it to a ranch and put some holes in it. And it's not much use for it for me, and I think I'd have a little bit more excitement doing that. And, you know, maybe I might just put some tan right and record it. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Um... But, uh, yeah, pretty simple little failure, I guess. Anyways, uh, if you're looking for a SCBA kit to buy or not buy, I do not recommend buying one that has a fiberglass tank that has out of manufacturer's date. Remember I said for fiberglass tanks, it's a 15-year shelf life, and it needs a 3-year hydro. Every 3 years, it's got to have a new hydro. On the other hand, aluminum tanks are pretty much, um, depending on some in interior things, um, the metal can harden and that will snap the metal. You don't want to mess with that on aluminum tanks, but that, you know, that's, you have more, you're, you're more likely cr crashing in an airplane liner than an aluminum tank or one of these tanks blowing on you. And that's all thanks to hydro, so. But yeah, I mean, I'm, in my opinion, if you're going to go with, hey, I want an SCBA kit I thought it was cool I want to buy one uh, go with an aluminum tank it's gonna be heavier but in the long run I think you're going to be much more um, happy with the performance along with the reliability I mean five years versus three years shoot and for some people hydro is not cheap for me it was $25 but not bad but uh, anyways that's it figured to show you what it looks like and the process this is KG5 IWQ 73